Facts First presents Inappropriate Kids Books That Actually Existed Number 1. Polly Paints a Penis Many people believe that this book was designed to teach children that it's not appropriate to draw penises in school or anywhere else. Unfortunately, the book had the exact opposite effect. It can actually teach children how to draw a penis, and it probably is not the best book for young children. Number 2. Please Don't Touch My Tomato Sex education during childhood is very important to keep children from making mistakes that will affect them for the rest of their lives. This subject needs to be handled carefully. Unfortunately, this book has missed the mark on that entirely. It makes genitalia synonymous with fruits and vegetables. They're said to be healthy and they're encouraged to be shared and touched. Not the best thing for young children who are learning about sex for the first time. Number 3. Who Cares About Elderly People? This book starts off explaining the negative aspects of elderly people. Eventually, the book redeems itself by talking about having friendship with the elderly. It also explains that they are contributing members of society. Children should be taught to respect their elders. However, this book teaches them to feel differently about that. It's not a good message to be sending to youthful, impressionable children. Number 4. It Hurts When I Poop The subtitle of the book explains that it's designed for children who are afraid to use the potty on their own. This could be for children who worry about the pain and for children who are just afraid. If you look at the cover, it makes you wonder if the dinosaur that the little boy is holding is real or if it's stuffed. When you actually read the book, you'll see that it's about the boy's digestive system. It also talks about how there are some foods that can make it hurt to poop. The book also delves deeply into constipation. Number 5. My First Cavity Search this book claims to be a whimsical look at what they can expect if they pose a threat to national security. The book will actually explain to children what to expect if they ever have a cavity search. It is no wonder that this book is not as popular as the author had hoped. There are also no reviews on the book. The book says that it's for children ages 6 and up. The most common question about this book is why children of this age would ever need to worry about having a cavity search. The only cavity search I had when I was six years old was the one from the dentist. Number 6. Don't Make Me Go Back, Mommy This is by far the most inappropriate kids book that actually exists. If you really want to scare your children, this is one of the best books to do just that. It will actually terrify your child to the point they will never want to go to daycare ever again. The main character is a five-year-old girl named Allison whose behavior changes after going to daycare. It's soon discovered that the daycare is engaging in satanic rituals that put the children through all types of abuse. Why any person would think this is a good idea for a children's book is beyond me. If a parent's planning to send their children to daycare for the first time, this is the wrong book to start them out with. Number 7. The Gas We Pass The author of this book was hoping that it would be as popular as the other books of its type such as Everybody Poops. Unfortunately, it just failed to measure up. The book is from Japan, and it is far from being a cute children's book. The problem was that it wasn't the best way to explain gas to children. Gas can usually be explained in just a few sentences. The author of this book needed an entire book to do it, and they missed the mark by a mile. The book gets extremely graphic, and it uses language that's not easy for children to understand. Number 8. My Beautiful Mommy Now, at first glance, this book seems to help kids embrace their mother's beauty, which would be a great thing. As soon as you look at the name of the author, you realize the book was written by a plastic surgeon, so it no longer seems to be all that sweet and innocent. The author was trying to sell plastic surgery to children and then advocate the practice. In the book, the overweight, ugly mom comes out of the operating room and she looks perfect with glistening clouds behind her. Well, this is wildly inappropriate. I mean, not only does it teach children not to love themselves and their parents just the way they are, it also gives children a distorted perception of their body image. Number 9. Monsters Eat Whiny Children If you want to keep your children from being whiny and from always complaining, this book will certainly do the trick, while scaring them to death in the process. 
The monsters in the story catch whiny children and they decide to eat them. The monsters can't decide whether they're going to make whiny child cakes or whiny child burgers. They eventually decide to make whiny child cucumber sandwiches. Luckily, the children ended up escaping. Number 10. The Man, the Horse This book shows how a horse and a man have similar body structures. Unfortunately, many of the images in the book have a sexual theme. Not the best book for children. Subscribe for more!